Hello. How's everybody doing out there? Well, I just wanted to introduce myself first and let you know, my name is Leslie Miller. I am a hairstylist in Dixon, Tennessee, and I own a salon, Color Lush Salon, and am a new matrix artist in training. And I'm gonna be talking to you today about the So Color Sync and So Color Pre-Blended Colors. And I've got a 15 minute time to give you guys a little bit of information and I wanna let you guys know what I'll be talking about today. My goal today is to get across that we have now a lot easier of a time formulating colors and I just want to show everyone how easy it is to go between so color permanent colors and mixing that with your so color sink pre-blended and pre-bonded colors. First of all, I'm coming to you guys with information about how you're going to put color on someone's head in the so color family, which is permanent. And we would start with a root application and then we're going to perfectly match that permanent hair color to the demi-permanent So Color Sync line. And it's very easy because everything has been pre-blended. And that is my goal for this class today. I wanted to go ahead and get that out so that you guys know what to expect out of the class. And I wanna stick to our timing so that I'm very mindful of you guys' time. And I wanna thank you so much for coming. So I'm gonna start with our application. First, let's tow, let's pull our mannequin up. I've already got her sectioned off. This is the quadrant that we will be working on today. Applying color. We're gonna do, like I said, the permanent hair color because this model, we're gonna say she's got seven, she's got 90% gray roots. So I have chosen to do the so color the pre-bonded and pre-blended 506NA. I'm gonna mix equal parts with 20 volume developer. And that is going on her root area. And because we have now the So Color Sync pre-blended shades, it's so simple. I just switch over and got my So Color Sync 7NA that I'm going to apply from mid links and ends. That way you get seamless color from root to ends with no banding and you will see such a beautiful blend of color. The reason that I chose the NA series is because her base color is a little bit, it's a little warm and a little bit on the reddish side and I just decided in behind the chair, a lot of times I get guests that come in and they specifically ask to cool down at warmth. So that is the reason that I decided to go with the So Color 506 NA at the root and then easily to transition to So Color Sync because it's already been matched up. It takes all the guesswork out. So I will go ahead and I'm going to mix, if I can turn this around here so you can see, always get a scale. Never want to guess at that for sure. So I take my permanent color and I'm going to get, we're going to, for demonstration purposes, we'll do half of an ounce of the So Color 506 NA. And then we'll do also half an ounce of 20 volume developer. To come to one ounce. And there it is. So we've got the permanent color has been now put in the bowl. I take my favorite root, root touch-up brush. It's a matrix brush, but if you'll notice, the brush is completely smooth and straight across the top. That is going to give me the most saturation at the root, which is exactly where you need it, since gray hair is going to be resistant in nature. It's it's lacking pigment and it's it's usually pretty white. Can be gray, but got that mixed. All right, so now got another bowl. 
I'm going to put that on the scale. Very important to weigh. So I've gotten now my color, so color sink 7NA because it is perfectly paired and it will go a perfect match with the so color pre-bonded and pre-paired colors. Again, taking all the guesswork out. I'm just going to act like you guys are out there <laughs> and say, can y'all say prepared, pre-bonded, and pre-blended in the chat bar? <laughs> I feel like I hear that. And I feel like that's a great way for us to all stay connected. So with the So Color Sync colors, gonna use 10 volume for the mid lengths and the ends. I'm gonna do equal. Equal parts. Got it all together. Then I get my brush again. This is just a brush that's kind of feathered on the ends. It's good for blending. And you mix really, really well. Get your gloves. So, I always start my root touch-ups, usually at the top, working my way down. I'm gonna make sure that I have, have her within your sight. Again, gray hair is resistant in nature. If you find that you have trouble with your application, maybe try checking your brush just to see if you're using the right brush and as something as simple as keeping your brush clean. Not trying to be extra OCD, but I only work the tip of the brush and fully load that brush right on there. So I get a good amount and I apply directly to the scalp. And then let's get her down some. And now you guys can see. Again, get a full load on the brush. And apply just to the roots. I take very thin see-through almost sections and pack it on about an eighth of an inch sec subsection, just to make sure that you have plenty of saturation. And I always like to keep as clean of a parting as possible. And go ahead and part off my section. And so you're gonna continue this way all the way down the section. And if you can see just how thin that section is, I can actually read the paper directly behind me. And that paper has a beautiful mantra. To think, believe, dream, and dare. And that mantra means so much to me because let me tell you, when you're thinking about trying something new, you're thinking outside that box it can be scary, and you don't want that to make you freeze in fear. You're naturally going to feel a little bit nervous. As long as you believe in yourself, that is the most important thing, and then you will take those steps to dream, and you should dream big. Don't let anything hold you back. Dream what you want, and then dare to try those things. And it is gonna feel uncomfortable and it's gonna be scary. That's the best way to grow and learn and break out of that box of comfort. Your comfort zone is not where you're learning. That's doing the same thing over and over again. Pretty heavy packing. So let's say I've gotten that all the way down. Let's just say I've gotten the entire, all four quadrants have now got root color. Once you've done the full root application, grade coverage needs to sit 
for 45, up to 45 minutes. And that's for maximum gray coverage. And I'm using, of course, the Sew Color. Find my box. I'm using the Sew Color Extra Covering Series 506NA. There it is. It's got a really pretty box. But I chose this because it's 100% gray coverage. And I want to let it sit for the full 45 minutes. So let's say now we've mixed our perfectly prepared 7NA and 10 volume equal parts to apply to the mid lengths and ends. Now, so color sink is only going to sit for up to 20 minutes. And so that being said, that is the reason that I would apply my gray coverage first to the roots in all of your quadrants. Then you're gonna go back in. I usually let my grays, I usually let them process for about 10 or 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna go back in with my color sink. And again, fully load that brush, but keep your brush clean. And I would start, you can start at the top or the bottom, wherever you feel most comfortable. But again, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna take a little thicker section, just a little bit. And then I'm going to apply from the mid length on down. I'm gonna try to get around there so I can get some on here. All right. And I like to blend them together right up at the top. Because they are prepared, it's okay for them to bump into each other. I'm not going to try to blend them together. But I take the color sink color right up and let it meet the permanent color. And I will apply mid lengths to ends and fully saturate. Let me get one section done. So I take it a little bit thicker than that eighth of an inch, but still, as you can see, you can still see through and read the paper behind us. I apply again, mid lengths on through to the ends, making sure that you're using enough product to fully load your brush. Apply the product and continue through the rest of the head. Once you get it all on, all of it is completed, and let's say that this is the very last hair on that section, you will then set your timer for up to 20 minutes, since that is the desired processing time for the So Color Sync shades. I'm just gonna go ahead and move that. Once this is all processed, I will then shampoo it and blow it dry and style her. She'll be beautiful and she won't have any gray hair. But the best part of it is, it's all pre-blended and it takes all that guesswork out. So then you're gonna have a nice pretty color from root to end with no breaking and no banding. She's ready. So, now I have told you guys a little bit about the color differences between the Sew Color Permanent Line and the Sew Color Sink Line. And I wanted to repeat that back to you one more time just to let you know that, and of course these books are beautiful, <laughs> but they are pre-bonded, pre-blended and pre-paired. I don't know if I could say that enough but it definitely takes a lot of the guesswork out because if you go through the book, you can see if you find exactly what I used. Oh, there it is, I was on the right page. Oh, that's Dream Age. Dream Age is beautiful too. Don't wanna go into that. So we've got the 506NA, which is what I used. 
And then this is our permanent color book. And then you go over and you get the Sew Color Sync pre-bonded book. And I will thumb through till I find a nice new shade, 7NA, perfect paired, matched, and ready to mix and apply. It's, it's so much fun. And I just wanna tell you guys, it's been 15 minutes and I definitely wanna be mindful of you guys' time. So I wanna thank you so much. I hope that you guys got something out of this class. Please feel free. You can follow me on Instagram at Miller underscore Leslie, or my salon is at Color Lush underscore salon. And always follow Matrix because they always have lots of information. Lots of education is always out there. Again, using the Sew Color and Sew Color Sync. I definitely thank you guys for stopping in. Have a good day.